Star Wars Battlefront 2 is a complete and utter mess right now. Now I made a video last month where I briefly touched on the fact that Battlefront 2 was broken because of a glitch ruining the game, and that was like 3 or 4 weeks ago and things still have not been addressed. And the state of Battlefront 2 is just getting worse and worse. So I wanted to whip up a quick video discussing it as I'm still seeing countless people ask if I can dedicate a video on it as things are just getting worse. New players that came into the game over Christmas are doing the Grandpa Simpson on Battlefront 2, and I mean it's just a little bit ridiculous. But in order to make sure that this video isn't all bitching about the current state of Battlefront 2, I do have something cool to show you guys in regards to Project Kyber, which will be bringing something fans have wanted to see for ages into Battlefront 2. So make sure you stick around for that. It's a small tease, but it's pretty awesome. And it's a little bit more obscure than you might think. But before we get into all that good stuff, this video is once again brought to you by our friends over at ownersaber.com. You guys know it by now, they sell awesome high quality lightsabers and they are still running their new year's special from January 1st to the 20th. So there's only a week left and all lightsabers will be 20% off and they are also running their giveaway alongside this. Three customers will win a free Lightbearer Xenopixel lightsaber and all you need to do is purchase a lightsaber during the special, then DM them your order number. That's a new step, so don't forget. And then you'll be in the running to win. Previous entrants don't need to worry about that final step though. All winners will be announced on Owner Saber's Instagram and then they'll contact you by email. And if you do want an extra 10% off on top of the 20%, then use code Aussie at checkout. And of course, a big thank you once again to Owner Saber for supporting the channel throughout this month. All right, with that out of the way, let's get into this. I don't want this video to be too long. So this 1HP bug has been going on for well over two months now, potentially even longer to be honest. And we still don't have a fix. You'd think if you still had the servers up on your game and one of the three platforms were completely unplayable due to hackers and a glitch caused by hackers that you'd probably get it fixed as soon as possible. Especially seeing as the platform that is currently broken to the point you can't play it is the one platform that is single-handedly keeping the game alive. That is keeping your abandoned game relevant. Now we did get two responses regarding this glitch that hadn't come out the last time I spoke about this on the channel and to be honest they don't really do that much anyway. The old community manager said it had been passed on but nothing more than that and then Kevin Johnson at Total FPS out on Reddit said that it's been made known but he has no further updates but it's on the radar. Credit to those two for actually coming out and saying something and trying to keep some form of communication going. Now this was I believe three weeks ago now, so shortly after I spoke about this and that video done very well, so I'm struggling to see that nobody from DICE or EA came across that video in any way, so they clearly know how big of a problem that it is, but apparently not, because there has been no communication since then, no plans for a fix, no hot fix, nothing. In fact, things are just getting worse. The 1 HP glitch is just more and more common and console players appear to be having a pretty terrible time themselves. Like they've got their own issues going on over there that need to be addressed. Now from all accounts, DICE are back from their Christmas break, yet still there is nothing new on this situation. But I mean, that's one of the core reasons this video is being made, to highlight just how poor this is, how bad things have gotten, and that enough is enough. Fix your game. It's popular, a lot of people are playing it, a lot of new players came to the game over Christmas, excited with their new PC, and they can't play it because of something that shouldn't even be a problem. It's really frustrating seeing people come to my comment section saying that they were so excited to play Battlefront 2 because they got it over Christmas or they got their PC for Christmas, but they just, they can't do anything, so now they're just turning away. Now I know DICE have got their own problems right now with Battlefield 2042 being a dumpster fire, but I mean, that's their problem. Maybe they could at least fix the one game out of those two that is actually good and people seem to want to play. Just a little bit of food for thought. But that's my little rant over and done with on this. I'm sick and tired of seeing people complain about this every single day. So that's why this video exists. I'm pushing this again because it's just annoying at this point. EA, DICE, whoever, fix the damn game. Star Wars fans have been through enough crap with this game the past couple years. Just fix the damn game, man. It's not going to take much. All right, though, moving on. Like I said, I didn't want this entire video to be me bitching on the stupid situation Battlefront 2 has got going on right now. So I've got a nice little teaser for you guys today. Project Kyber is the fan-made project going on for Battlefront 2 right now that we spoke about before Christmas last year. Well, they're not just bringing along private servers to Battlefront 2, they're bringing a new game mode. And that new game mode appears to be Wampa Hunt. 
Something a lot of people have wanted to see for quite a long time with this game. I still think DICE should have done Wampa Hunt over Ewok Hunt personally. I think this was just a huge missed opportunity. Now more on this will come out over time, but for now there is just a short teaser on Twitter for this. But there seems to be a lot of interest in this Project Kyber thing, so I'll keep you guys in the loop. But for now, I can't wait to give this a go. Fans continue to outdo themselves with this game, and it truly has become a fan game at this point now. But guys, a quicker video today. Hopefully, this just puts even more spotlight on the Battlefront 2 situation at the moment because enough is enough. The game has been ruined for months now, and it looks like issues are trickling across all platforms as well. So it's a new year. Just started off on the right foot for once with the Battlefront franchise, EA and DICE, please. A lot of people still play this game. Probably more than 2042, for God's sake. But, I mean, that's just my piece on the situation. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out my second channel if you haven't already. Lots of stuff coming over there. And I'll catch you guys real soon.